Hey, bonjour. My name is Patrick Rideau, owner of Papier Plume New Orleans. Uh, my team wanted me to do a video for fountain pen users, new fountain pen users. And uh, we're going to show you how to feel and clean the pen. For example, you received that lovely pen for Christmas. Let's see what we have inside. Wonderful Lamy. First, I would want to tell you a few things. A few words very important. This is a cap that we know. This is a barrel. Then we twist the barrel and we access the cartridge. Different size cartridge, we're going to talk about it. The cartridge is this little transparent tube with the ink inside. And this is called a section. The section has a nib and the feed. The feed is the black little plastic on the bottom. Okay? So, first, to use the fountain pen, we either work with a cartridge like this and put the cap in the barrel. Now, you need probably a few seconds to half a minute for the ink to go toward the tip. You can wait. We can wait 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you why we not only use cartridges. We also use what we call a converter. You probably, you could have received that along with your pen. A converter is a little piston system that we place the cartridge. So by acting on the back, you see I took a red uh, tip converter from Lamy, so it's easy to see. This is the part that you twist, and counterclockwise, you are going to push the air out. And when I turn it clockwise, we're going to take the ink in. So for this, it requires an ink bottle. For cartridges, easy to use. Here, we started already. We just needed to push the cartridge inside and it started. So how do we do if we do not have a cartridge? Remove and the converter takes the place of the cartridge. So you have little, we call uh, nipples that goes really inside those grooves in that's for Lamy only I don't see that uh, with any other pen company but I'm gonna show you different uh, different pen company as well so now that it's pushed in all the way in it's secure we're gonna take our bottle and fill fill the pen at the base of the section for every single pen, you have a little hole. This is where the ink is going to go inside. You have to dip the entire nib plus maybe one eighth of an inch inside the ink in order for the ink to flow inside. So like I showed you before, counterclockwise, you are pushing the air out. Now I put it in the ink, hold it, and slowly, I'm going to try to show you. Slowly, slowly, draw the ink inside. So, you may want for the first time to actually empty, empty the ink inside the bottle again and draw inks inside. Just for the first time. Why? Because the section was empty and we want as much ink as possible inside this little reserve here. So now it's finished. Try to remove as much ink as possible. Use whatever you have handy. And especially under the feed, really nice to clean that thoroughly. 
put the barrel and you are in business. Hands riding. So now we know how to fill with a converter. Let's see other models. This is a Retro 51. Same thing, we have a barrel, we have a section, and inside you have cartridges. Ah, the cartridges have a different size, doesn't matter. Most likely it's the tapered part of the cartridge that you want to insert first in order to make a pen work. Okay? Then why do we have two? Because Lamy had only one. It's because Lamy cartridges are extremely long and when we use international size cartridges, we can put one head first in the barrel as a reserve while we use the other. There's a space for two. Same thing, I'm gonna wait about you know, 30 seconds, it's gonna start working. And <coughs> number three, this pen has a piston inside the barrel. You cannot dismantle the barrel from the section. Uh, there's no way to put a cartridge inside. This is a pump only pen. So I'm gonna open and this one has a little window that you can actually see the level of ink. Uh, a little bit like Lamy. I don't know if you noticed. I'm gonna open that for you. We have a little window here that shows you if you have any ink left, you can just tip it back and forth and see if your little bubbles coming up. But it's a little easier to see through this large window. So <coughs> the pump only pen, we act from the back. So this one has a blind cap that we have to unscrew. And same thing. Counterclockwise, we are going to push the air out for the first use, right? And now I'm gonna turn clockwise and the ink is gonna starting to flow. And make sure you dip enough a part of the section inside of ink. Voila, remove the excess, same thing. Remove the excess with a paper towel. And you can start the pen. Okay, okay so this is the basic way to fill up fountain pens. Uh, now, in the next video that I'm going to present is how to clean those fountain pens. And if you need anything else, go at papierplume.com. We'll be happy to help you by email. Thank you.